Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I did my packaging for my new necklaces. Uh, I created these new necklaces. They say Boss Babe, I have them in black and then I made this gold one, not so sure about the gold, but I have them in black and they're on my Etsy shop. And I wanted to put them in really cool boxes because I didn't want to just go and grab a regular jewelry box from Michaels or box supplier. I wanted to do something a little bit more interesting and still cost effective, um, still environmentally friendly. So what I did was I bought some recycled cardstock and made little matchbox out of them and then stamped an image on the top. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I don't have any more of the recycled paper so I'm just going to use some of my cardstock paper that I used for drawing. And, and then I'm going to show you the illustration that I'm going to stamp on top. Um, to make this, I'm using a Cricut. So if you don't have a Cricut, you can still make it. You just have to cut it out with an X-Acto knife by hand. Um, and I'm going to leave the template for the matchbox in the description below so you can download it and do it yourself. So this is what it looks like. You have a little hole here to show the necklace and then you can just pull it out and the necklace goes here it's actually upside down so I made the little slits here so that the necklace can fit there and just hang and then a little pull tab here to pull this out because it, it fits pretty tightly and then you can just slide this back in and you can see the illustration on the front it says badass necklace with a little arrow pointing in there and then on the bottom it says made in Canada um, and I still have another stamp coming just to put my website or Instagram here so there's some branding on it so let me show you what you need to do to make this for yourself okay so I'm in the Cricut design space now and you can see I have the matchbox project here so i um, just gonna go into my projects and I guess that is the right one. So I have um, these two, which is the inside and the outside. And then I have this inner part for the part that the necklace attaches to. And I also have written on there, kicking butt and taking names. So I'm gonna do that as well with the Cricut. Okay, so it has this one, and then you can see the rest are actually just hidden. <clears throat> so I have these three. So I'm going to cut, print, and score with the Cricut. All these dotted lines are the scoring lines, and then the black lines are the cut lines. And then this text is what's going to get printed with the markers. So again, you can cut this with an X-Acto knife and then just score the lines yourself, but obviously with the Cricut, it's a lot faster. So I'm gonna do it with the Cricut since I have it. And then click Make It. So Cricut automatically puts these up right to the edge to use up all the space. So I'm just gonna leave it as is because I'm only making one right now. Okay, so it's connected via Bluetooth now, and the material is going to show up. This is the new design space, so I haven't used this before. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure that I've used the... I used the heavy watercolor paper just to make sure it cuts nicely and scores. And then hit done. Okay, so I need score tip and the fine point blade right now. So now I'm going to press go. So right now it's scoring. And I actually have the score lines doubled, so it's the same score line on top of each other. 
Um, this way it goes through and scores twice because I find the first pass of scoring is not enough. You can see the score lines right there. And now it is cutting the black lines out. Okay, so I made a mistake and forgot to label the right part with the marker and it is cutting out the words right now. So I think I'm just gonna let it continue so I can finish this third one. Okay, so I kind of messed up that one because I forgot to do something, so. Okay, so in this piece right here, I have this text here I have selected for cut, as you can see. So this actually needs to be right, and it's the black tip. Okay. Um, so just double check, I thought I had that set already, Inner lab is score, so everything else is correct, but I'm going to hide the other two because I've already finished those. So I'm going to just redo this guy right here so I can write it. No oh, shit, I didn't go high enough. Third time's the charm. All right, it looks good so far. So right now I'm doing the scoring and then it should ask me for the pen next. Change required. Load black tip in clamp and press the go button. So this is a black pen I'm using, and I'm just going to put that in here where the score is, and then press go. So now it's doing the final cut. So I now have my three pieces, finally. I have the inner flap thing. And then I have this, which is the outside of the box. And then I have, oh sorry, this is the outside of the box. This is the inside. So now I have all three. So I'm gonna put these together now. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and fold the score lines. I find if I fold them in towards me first, they work better. And then I'll fold them the way they're supposed to go. These spots will go here, this spot will go here, and then these will fold down like that. So, I'm going to glue these ones first. Push those sides in so there's no gap. That one looks good. Like the glue off. This one. Push that in there. And then I'm just gonna hold it like this just for like 10 seconds or so. Um, you'll be able to notice when you take your finger off that it's pretty well together. The glue I'm using is good for wood, tile, glass, leather, foam, fork fork, cork, and metal. So, it's very strong glue. So I'm gonna do the same to the other side.
Okay, so the bottom box, the inner sleeve part is ready to go. So the top part will look like this. And to get this on, I actually have a stamp. So because I have this little die cut area here, I have to make sure that this lines up because I've done this before and I did this way and then the hole was over there where the type was. So, you know, silly mistakes. So you want to make sure it just goes like this. So here's my ink pad. I'm just going to load up the stamp. Make sure you get all the ink on there because if you stamp it and some parts are not on ink. It's going to be doing it all over again. Okay, so looks good. I usually stand right over top and then just double check the, the sides. And then plop it on. Fingers crossed. Ta da! It's a little crooked, but whatever. This one was perfect. FYI. And now I already folded these guys. Here we go. So this is actually using the Cricut pen. Looks pretty good. You have to be a little bit particular about the fonts you use because it only does outlines. It won't fill in unless you fill it in with like a, a really fine pattern. So what I did is I took a very skinny, light font and then I made it outlines in Illustrator and then put a stroke on those outlines so that it became thick enough that the strokes almost met each other. That way when the pen went around and did the outline it got so close together that it actually looks like it's filled. So this is where the necklace is going to lay and then this little tab you can just flip out. It's just a little pull tab for you in case this inner part gets stuck. So I have my necklace. I'm just going to put it in here. And then what I normally do is I tape this up in the back with a little Ziploc bag so it doesn't float around and get all messed up. So there you go, it fits nicely in there and then just make sure there's no wet glue on the bottom there. So that's just good to go. And then this just slides right in. And then you have a little window here for the necklace. So this is the finished product. The great thing about this is that it's smaller than a regular jewelry box, so it will protect this laser cut piece in the mail, but it will also fit into a padded mailer and still meet the requirements for letter mail, which means that I can make the shipping cheaper for the customer. Um, with, and because this packaging is relatively cheap, I just make it out of sheet paper and stamp. It just takes maybe like 20 minutes of my time but it adds like a nice personal touch so I can just create a bunch of these at once and then send them and I think it's like a nice way to keep your necklace 
So yeah, this is the final product. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm still working on packaging for the rest of my items and I'll leave a link so you can buy this yourself if it's something that you're into. Like I said, it also comes in black with a silver chain.